Hello. Uh, my name's just been and I have just finished my uncle degree at the University of Winchester. I'm here today to talk to you about the archaeology of the Battle of Claude, and I'm going to start by talking about the history of the battle. The Battle of Claude is famous for being the last ever battle to be fought on British soil. It was a conclusion to a civil war that is known today as the Jacobite Rebellion of 1745. The Battle of Claude was fought between the armies of King George II under the leadership of the Duke of Cumberland and the fourth Jacobite forces of Bonnie Prince Charlie and his senior commander George Lord Murray. The battle took place on the morning of the 16th of April 1746 and resulted in an overwhelming defeat for the Jacobite forces. The exit of the battle. The prominent exit of the battle is, is it decisively ended the possibility of the House of Stuart ever retaking the British throne, bringing about an end to the Jacobite revolts. The defeat led to the complete repression of the Highland clans by the Duke of Cumberland, which earned the name of the Butcher of Cumberland. The battlefield site has gained more interest in recent times due to the growth of modern battlefield archaeology and its techniques. The battle has also featured heavily in British culture, as can be seen in this image below, which is an incident in the Benin in 1745 by David Moyer. It also featured an episode of Doctor Who. Archaeology of the battle. Cullen is one of the most intensely investigated archaeological and historical battlefields in Scotland. Recent surveys include those from the 1990s, 2001, 2005, and most recently, 2013. The key survey was undertaken by the Glasgow University under the leadership of Penny Pollard. A key modern interpretation from the archaeology is that the lines of the conflict actually ran through the area that is known today as the land of enclosure, rather than to the north as the previously been believed. Systematic method taking and aerial distribution of maps to be employed, showing the logistics and intensity of the fighting. This can be seen in the red square. The Battlefield Memorial Project took place in 2005, and its aim was to establish as fully as possible the true extent of the battlefield. The scale of the battlefield was significantly larger than it previously been fought, along with it being located in the wrong place. In the figure on the next slide, the old positions are shown in green and purple in the new and blue and red. The blue and red lines show the correct position of the battlefield, and the green and purple showed where the historical accounts and historical maps had suggested it was. This image is one of the finds that was found, and it is a Jacobite amulet, which is made out of a pewter cross. Further analysis of the shock caliber was recommended by Pollard to know a greater understanding of the nature of the conflict and to ascertain of ammunition to particular forces. The importance of stone ward enclosure to the progress of the battle on the both and north side of the battlefield is seen as relevant. In order to investigate this, a walk over survey was carried out. Geological grid survey was also undertaken in 2005 to try and highlight potential musgraves in the area that are known today as the Field of the English. Conclusion Claudon is the Scottish battlefield with the greatest number of contemporary records and maps for a broad range of historical sources. The archaeology on this site has significantly and importantly added to and challenged the knowledge and understanding of the nature and structure of the battle. This being the Jacobite lines were further back than previously to be believed, and the nature and direction of the charge was different to that of the historical accounts suggested. Although significant steps have been made to enhance and preserve the current site of Plotton, this important site has many challenges to ensure its ongoing preservation. As upon our state, what has been established beyond all doubt is the battlefield archaeology can make a valid contribution to our understanding of the historical battles, some of which is as it is definitely the, the case at Clodden, do not lack documentary accounts, but are nonetheless disordered by both the Bogle War and sometimes less than impartial intentions of the historians. The archaeological projects undertaken at Clodden have had an important influence in the way that battlefield sites are now identified, listed, and recorded within the UK. The origins of battlefield archaeology in Scotland can be seen as starting with the project at Claudlin in 2000. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed the rest of the conference.